Welcome to the cybersecurity tutorial series designed to help you better protect your information and devices from cyber attacks. Tutorial 14, recovering from malware. How do you know your computer's infected? Unfortunately, there is no particular way to identify that your computer has been infected with malware. Some infections may completely destroy files and shut down your computer, while others may only subtly affect your computer's normal operations. Be aware of any unusual or unexpected behaviours. If you are running antivirus software, it may alert you that it's found malware on your computer. The antivirus software may be able to clean the malware automatically, but if it can't, you will need to take additional steps. What can you do if you are infected? Minimize the damage. If you have access to an information technology or IT specialist or department, contact them immediately. The sooner they can investigate and clean your computer, the less likely it is to cause additional damage to your computer and other computers on the network. Remove the malware. If you have antivirus software installed on your computer, update the virus definitions if possible and perform a manual scan of your entire system. If you do not have antivirus software, you can purchase it at the local computer store or online. If the software can't locate and remove the infection, you may need to reinstall your operating system, usually with a system restore disk that is often supplied with a new computer. Remember to back up your data first. How can you reduce the risk of another infection? Dealing with the presence of malicious code on your computer can be a frustrating experience that can cost you time, money and data. The following recommendations will build your defense against future infections. Use and maintain antivirus software. Antivirus software recognizes and protects your computer against most known viruses. However, attackers are continually writing new viruses, so it's important to keep your antivirus software current. Change your passwords. Your original passwords may have been compromised during the infection, so you should change them. This includes passwords for websites that may have been cached in your browser. Make the passwords difficult for attackers to guess. Keep software up to date. Install software patches so that attackers can't take advantage of known problems or vulnerabilities. Many operating systems offer automatic updates. If this option's available, you should enable it. Use anti-spyware tools. Spyware is a common source of viruses, but you can minimize the number of infections by using a legitimate program that identifies and removes spyware. And follow good security practices. Take appropriate precautions when using email and web browsers so that you reduce the risk that your actions will trigger an infection. As a precaution, maintain backups of your files on external media like external hard drives. That way, you've got saved copies in the event you are infected again. Check out more videos from this cybersecurity tutorial series to learn how you can better protect your information and devices from cyber attacks. Cyber Health is powered by the Chamber of Commerce and Industry Queensland and RED. This project is funded by the Australian Government Department of Industry, Science, Energy and Resources through the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect program. For more information, visit cyberhealth.com.au.